Hi, Suffolk Camper here. Uh, this has been my uh, first video for quite a while, uh, purely because the van that I had previously broke down, so I've been without a vehicle for a while. And also, I was ill with coronavirus for about nearly a month, well, just over three weeks. So that also knocked me back a bit. But I'm back now. It's now, I think it's Saturday the 13th of August, and the weather is very warm, uh, as you, well, as you may or may not know, we've been having heat waves here. About a week ago, it was about 40 degrees. And now, I'm not sure what it is now, I think it's been roughly in its like late 20s or 30s today. It's about 20 to 8 in the evening, and it's still really warm. Um, so yeah, I'm back, I'm back out here camping uh, in some birch woods. And uh, this is my first time using a tarp. And I'll, I'll show you that in, in a little while. But yeah, that's the situation. I need to go back to the vehicle to um, get some stuff because I'm still not fully set up yet. I need to grab some food and stuff from the van that I've still got there and get it all locked up. So I'm now going to go and do that and I will catch you guys in a little while. Okay, cheers. Okay, this is the pathway that I'm camping not far from. It's a local forest. Uh, this is like the public footpath. I'm surprised actually there's not more people about at all. I mean, it's lovely weather. I'm surprised to see there isn't any more vehicles or people walking dogs, that kind of stuff. But you certainly can't see my tarp from where I am. Um, I've got my st my stuff here. Oh, it's about. I'm going to take a walk back to camp. I can hear something going on in the distance. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I'm hoping it's not travellers, because I'm a bit wary of them. I don't mean that to be disrespectful to the uh, general travelling community, but at the same time, I don't like leaving my vehicle out here. And, you know, being out here all on my own, I just, you know... Ah, my God. Bloody thorn bushes. Oh, I'm really not dressed for this. I have shorts and bare legs. out. These brambles, these thorn bushes. Look at that, look. Scraping on my legs. I haven't dressed properly for this. But it's uh, through here. Oh. Yeah, I mean, no one uh, can see uh, the camp. I can't remember what way I came out earlier. Uh, but it's definitely through there somewhere. I'm not dressed for this. Uh, let's camp. Ah, oh, I think I can see it. I'm actually miles away from where I thought it was. Yeah, there it is. I think you just about see it. Oh, there we are. And here I am. Okay. This is my tent. My tarp tent. Got my camera and gear over there. Oh. Oh. 
So yeah, this is the setup I've got at the moment. This is my DD tent. I think I paid about 40 quid for it. This is actually my first ever attempt at setting it up, so my knots might not be that good. But it's up and it seems nice and fairly tight. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is where I am for the night and um, I'm going to start getting settled in, just chill out for a bit because I've been working to getting stuff set up and all that kind of stuff so I'm just going to chill out for a while, S set the chair up and uh, maybe do something to eat a bit later on. Okay, so I'll catch you in a while. Cheers. Hi. It's now about uh, 20 to 11 at night. It's now totally pitch dark out. I'm now just sitting here under my tarp. It's a really nice night out here tonight. Uh, it's still quite warm. So I'm fine sitting here in just a t-shirt. Um, there's not even a breeze in the air. Like literally the trees are all dead still. And the forest is dead quiet. You could hear a pin drop almost. It's quite unusual. Uh, so it's a really peaceful night out here, but yes, yeah, as, as I mentioned, I'm just, uh, I'm sitting here un under my tarp, my first night under a tarp. I've made like a, as you saw earlier, like a, a, tr a traditional, you know, A-frame. Um, I don't know if you can see out there, but obviously I'm quite open because I'm used to an, an enclosed tent so I'm not used to the openness of a, of a tarp right now but uh, it, it's uh, it makes me feel closer to nature I guess you could say that's one of the bonuses of using a tarp you know it's uh, it really gives you a feeling of being in the outdoors so yeah, I'm enjoying my first night you know, with a tarp. Um, I don't say really. But yeah, that's it for now, and I will catch you later. Cheers. Hi, back again. I uh. I think I'm going to uh, throw the towel in and pack my stuff up and go back to the van because I can hear music in the in in the uh, the distance and it doesn't sound that far away. I'm not sure how far the sound is travelling, but I'm not sure if it's an uh, maybe an an illegal rave or there's some travellers like having some kind of party or something but I don't want to take the chance because I don't know who's who's about I, I don't um, I don't like the idea there could be people that are about who are on drugs or alcohol or who could be a paying or who could be paying attention to me here by myself I'm just a little bit wary. So I'm going to start packing up. And I'm going to go back to the van. And I'm going to decide what I'm going to do from there. It's a shame because I was actually enjoying being out here tonight. But yeah, that, that's my plan. So I will catch you in a little while, alright? Hi, as you can see I'm back home now. I, um, 
as I mentioned earlier, I could hear music and voices and stuff and uh, it just made me feel a little bit uneasy, you know. Um, it just didn't feel right, so I decided to throw the towel in, you know. I don't want to take any unnecessary risks, you know, because if there's, if there's people about who have been drinking and, uh, you know, you, you just don't know what's going on, I'd rather not chance it, so... Um, but I'll, I'll be back out camping again soon enough. Um, maybe even tomorrow night, depending on what happens. I don't know yet. But I will definitely be, be uh, back out camping again soon. You know, now, now that I'm back on the roads and stuff like that. So anyway, if you have watched this far anyway, thank you for watching. I, I, I appreciate, you know you taking the time to watch and all the views I get. And uh, that's it for now. I will catch you another time. Cheers. See you later.